Can I ask you about Lacazette, if that's okay, and his, mm. um, the role he's playing? He's not scoring that many goals, but he's creating quite a few. Is that what you want from him more than? You know, we want both that he creates and he scores, like everybody that is playing in the in the front positions. But he has a really important role in the team, off the field and, and, and on the field. He's been unlucky because he had the chances to score as well. Um, some goals in the last um, few weeks and he needs to continue to that to generate those chances for his teammates um, to be in front of goals in the positions that we ask him to be and, and the goals will come. Because he is a striker, the fans sometimes get disappointed when he's not scoring, maybe gets mm -hmm. a chance and misses it. But is there sort of unseen work that, for example, Emil's goal on, on Saturday that came from Akka coming to Yes, but we have to live with those expectations and he knows as a striker what he's going to be the man to do and at the end he's to be involved in goals and um, and the chance creation of the team and he's doing a lot of things right um, in attack, out of possession as well and uh, and he needs to continue to do that. The ball will go on the net very soon. You mentioned on Saturday that Anil could one day play as a number nine if he needed it and mm. obviously the fans as well have been thinking about Gabby Martinelli playing up there. Which of them do you think would be most suited to that role if you needed to? Depends on the game that you want to play and the role that you want from the nine. They have very different qualities. They would uh, change our structure, uh, the spaces that we would attack, uh, the position that they would threat, how they fix the opponent in certain areas. It would depend on the behavior of the of the opposition as well to to understand which context would benefit uh, both of them. But they have changed quite a lot of positions as well, and we have to be careful sometimes how much we change them. But the moment that they are ready is, is another opportunity to, to use them as well in the future. Has it been tempting at all to throw in the four young guys, Bakayo, Emil, Gabby, and stick them all up front and say, off you go, Martin Erdogan as well, and say, go do it on your own? Well, they have played uh, together, I think. Uh, we're going to Emil played as a left attacking midfielder as well, uh, which is another position that uh, that he can play. So I am tempted, yes, because you want to play. And when you see players playing and training the way they do, like many others, you want to throw them on the pitch. Unfortunately, 11 is the limit. Um, captaincy is an issue we've asked you about a lot, obviously. It's one that you'll address in the summer. How will you decide who gets it on a permanent basis? Will it be a vote of the players or will it be down to you? That will be through a process in the summer when we have time, when we have no competition, and we will do it the right way, the way I want to do it. Yeah, there was some confusion, I think, on the weekend when Eddie came on and took the armband and didn't quite know who to give it to, it seemed. Is there a defined hierarchy in your mind or that the players know? It is a defined, and Granny said he's next in line, and that's why he gave it to Kieran. And I think Kieran was really proud of it. Rob is there as well as the second one when when he's played. It is not easy. I understand something you can look <laughs> confusing, but you have to understand that we have a lot of issues and uh, another captain's issues. I, I guarantee is not what we need. Do, do, we, do we as media make too much of the armband? Do you need leaders all over the pitch with the armband? Right? I think you do. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, sir. On that note, <laughs> yeah, on that note, Simon, just for this is for twelve o'clock. <laughs>